Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video. I, you're all doing well today, aren't you? You're all doing well, I'm doing well, i got to be honest guys, I didn't expect that. I've got a smile on my face because I did not expect that. That, that, for the first time in a while, I can look at and go, Chelsea, that was quality. <laughs> that was quality, I am happy today. And I feel very, very glad that I feel happy today because, my God, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've actually looked at a Chelsea performance and gone, yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Today, I feel good. Now, we're going to get into the, the, the nitty gritty. I ain't said that in a while, have I? We're going to get into that. Before I do, I want to let you know that today's video is brought to you by the OneFootball app. Make sure you download the OneFootball app all of your latest to do with tonight and the Champions League, including Manchester City winning 5-0. And yes, Erling Haaland scored again, twice. <laughs> the guy the guy's turned into a machine. But um, all of your latest in the OneFootball app. And not just that, but if you are in the UK and Ireland, remember, you get Italian Serie A streaming for free. One game per match day showing on the OneFootball app. Plus, you have access to all of the Italian Serie A highlights. Fortunately, you go over there and you can see AC Milan actually play well. Um, because <laughs> that's the OneFootball app. Link in the description. Because today, AC Milan, I have to say, I'm going to start with AC. They disappointed me a bit. In a good way. I'm happy that they did. But I expected more. I expected more. I did get, funnily enough, yesterday in the comments, there were a few of you that are AC Milan supporters, and I respect that. Fair play to all of you that were coming and you were completely honest. And you were telling me, ah, Eunice, look, if there's a time to be AC, it's today. Uh, AC, we've got injuries. AC, we're not, I don't think we're going to be that good. There were a few AC Milan supporters that told me exactly what went down tonight, so fair play to all of you, because I expected more from AC. But if you guys saw it coming, then obviously you know AC much better than I do. Just like I know Chelsea better than you, I think it's fair that you guys were completely spot on. And today, AC just did not bring anything, if I'm being real. Um, yes, you know, and for once, I get to say this, and I'm really happy I get to say this. For once, the opposition had more possession than us. They had more possession than us. AC ended up with 55% of the ball today. We had 45 but what was the final score? 3-0. That's all I'm bothered about. I don't care about controlling the ball. I don't care about having most possession, having completed 8,000 passes. I don't care. What's the final score? 3-0. Thank you very much, Bob's your uncle. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm concerned about. Today, that was it. And I have to say, Graham Potter came out with a lineup that I did not see coming. I didn't expect the 3-5-2. He deployed that, worked like a charm. Some of the personnel in the team did not expect that, worked like a charm. So fair play to Graham Potter today. I thought he absolutely nailed it. And finally, I get to say that, you know, about a Chelsea manager, because we have to be real. Yes, we, we all have Thomas Tuchel. Um, especially even, even even towards the end, but you know there were there were a lot of people complaining about players playing in certain positions, some players not playing, some other players playing despite playing badly. Like there were all sorts, and um, this lineup, despite my initial concern, went out and got a job done. Fair play. We started off with a three-five-two. We started off with Kepper in goal. We had Fofana, Thiago Silva, and Koulibaly. And to be honest, if we are going with the back three, that's the best back three we have. That's solid. Silva, Koulibaly, Fofana. We bought these two centre-backs to play. They played. They were fantastic. Silva, very, very good. The midfield, well, Reese James, right wing back. Chilwell, left wing back. I did get that one spot on. We didn't start with Cucurella. Although, I did hear the concerns about some of you in the comments to do with Chilwell. And seeing him tonight, he played well. Don't get me wrong. I think he did well. But he looks, you can tell the injury really done him because he looks heavier than he used to be. And I don't mean that in terms of weight. I just mean in terms of his his agility, his acceleration. It's all slowed down a little bit. And that's normal. Coming back from the injury that he had, I can understand why in such a demanding position where he was at the top of his game, he's not going to be at that level this soon after what he went through. So there is that. But played well. So fair play to him. And in midfield, this is where I was concerned. I saw the lineup and I was like, I don't think this is going to be good, guys. Um, Kovacic and Kov uh, Kovacic and Loftus-Cheek. I did say in my preview yesterday, funnily enough, when I was saying Zakaria should be playing alongside Kovacic, I went, Jorginho shouldn't play. Loftus-Cheek in that midfield? No. Well, we did go with Loftus-Cheek. He actually done well. Fair play to him. I've got to be real. He done well. Fair play. And, and, and even Kovacic looks more comfortable alongside 
a Loftus Cheek than a Jorginho, which is I didn't expect that. You know, I'm gonna say it as it is. I did not expect that. And then the front three, um, Mason Mount, Sterling, and Abamyang. And I expected Pulisic to start this one, if I'm being completely real. He didn't. Um, and Mason Mount, Sterling, and Abamyang started off, and it looked not electric, but in control. The whole game, Chelsea were in control. It was a case of, yeah, even AC Milan having portions of the game with the ball, there was zero threat. And the one place in midfield where I, I really thought AC were going to dominate the game, which was in midfield, because their midfield were, were playing. They had Tonali, they had Benassa, who was captaining um, AC Milan tonight. And, you know, as Algerian, that was good to see, but I'm glad he didn't do anything. And um, <laughs> the Cataleri, I thought that's a solid enough midfield in order for them to, I look on paper, Loftus-Cheek and Kovacic. Okay. You expect AC to show up. They just didn't. Tactically, I thought they were set up wrong. I thought that AC Milan had... Uh, they, they were a little bit too reserved. But even individually, they were losing the ball easily. They, were, they weren't they were quick on transition. They were leaving way too much space open. Especially on that right-hand side with Rhys James. Rhys James had a blinder today. What a performance from him. But overall, everyone was on their A-game. We had the first goal, which was an absolute mix-up in the box, but it lands to Fofana, and even somehow Loftus Cheek gets the assist in that. It could have been it could have been Bob in the stand that got the assist for that because the ball was moving about like it would on a ping pong table. It was going everywhere. It lands to Fofana and he hits it and it goes into the bottom corner and it's one nil. And that's the thing Chelsea needed to get that first goal, calm the nerves. Everything was good. But what I do want to say about calming nerves, I thought everyone in the ground, up until the first goal were fantastic. I asked in the preview for anyone going to the game to be vocal, to be loud. It was vocal. It was loud. And when Chelsea get that first goal, everyone's happy. They keep it going. If it stayed nil-nil, I think eventually it would have got quieter and quieter and quieter up until the point where maybe Chelsea do something. And then it livens up again because that's how it tends to go. But on a Champions League night, up until that first goal where it took 25 minutes for Farnham to score, it was vocal and it was loud. So fair play to everyone because after that, it stayed like that. We maintained that level of atmosphere. And that was good to see. Abamyang in the second half. We stay going at, um, at half time. It's 1 0. Fofana comes off injured, by the way. And I hope he's all right. And I hope it's nothing serious. And I think it's all okay. Chalaba came on. Um, but in the second half, we maintained that control. I had it in my head that surely the AC Milan manager is going to do something to change this. Tactically, he's going to switch up. He's going to try and, uh, you know, close the spaces a little bit more because. We looked open. It looked easy. It looked a lot easier than I anticipated. And then going into the second half, it didn't take long before Reese James on the right-hand side, across the box. And again, just like against Palace, we have a number nine that seems to know how to put the ball in the net. And this is what makes me happy. <laughs> Aubameyang was there to poach in between the defenders, gets it, slots it in, and then brings back the iconic front flip celebration. And it's good to see because he tended to do that with Arsenal. Now he's done it in blue. I'm very happy. Um, Champions League goal for Aubameyang. Two in a row. Fantastic. So Aubameyang puts us up 2-0. And then not too long afterwards, minutes later, Reese James on that right-hand side. Ball comes from the left-hand side. Sterling sees Reese open. Again, this is what I'm saying. He just had a complete avenue to himself. But ball comes into Reese James. Reese James does the smart thing. He's close to goal smash it just smash it as hard as you possibly can and he does straight into the roof of the net keepers not getting it it's 3-0 game's done it's over and fair play because I thought it was going to be harder than it tended to be but Chelsea done everything that needed to be done Chelsea were completely on the money tonight and fair play um, even post substitutions we were 3-0 up post the subs we brought on Conor Gallagher for Aubameyang we brought on Jorginho for Kovacic we brought on Havertz for Mason Mount Mason Mount as well with the goal and it's such a shame he was offside because that goal was beautiful <laughs> <laughs> where Aubameyang manages to flick it into his path, but he was already offside and goes around the keeper, then lobs it over Tomori and the goalkeeper into the net. And I'm thinking, that's a beautiful goal. That is beautiful, but gets ruled out for offside. So even to someone like Mason, I've been critical of Mason. I've been critical of Kai. I've been critical of a few lads that just have not pulled their weight and just have not been playing well. Tonight, 
Mason played well, and I'm happy with that. Decent performance. Could it be better? Yes, but in terms of what he actually done, that goal I thought was class. If it stood, it would have been beautiful. Um, decent performance. Um, so there's that. And fair play. You've got to give credit where it's due and you've got to give critique where it's due. This is how I am. I'm balanced and I feel, I feel like I'm fair. Today, I have to say, overall, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Kai Havertz came on for Mason Mount later on, just after we had Broya come on for Raheem Sterling. The shape didn't really change. The personnel changed. Didn't... At that point, the game was dead. As far as I'm concerned, the game was dead. AC Milan even making substitutions in that last 20, 25 minutes, bringing off basically all their big players. I think at that point, managers probably thinking about the next Serie A game. <laughs> Prevent injuries, take off the lads, let's just, let's just go home. And they've done exactly that. So... Honestly, I'm very happy tonight and shout out to Graham Potter for the setup. Chelsea have now put themselves in a decent position because I did say that this, it wasn't a must win, but I did say that if Chelsea do beat AC Milan and we did it in a convincing manner that we can look at this result as a good result, as a big result and start looking forward in terms of we forget what we've just gone through. We start, we start moving forward with Graham Potter. We start looking at the opposition coming up. We start gaining some confidence and the way that we were playing our football today was actually really nice. It was nice. It was direct. It was direct. There wasn't a lot of time wasting in our build-up. It was get from A to B as quickly as you can. Get the threat. Everyone moving the ball. It wasn't sideways backwards. It was a lot more central, diagonal, forward. Everyone forward thinking. And that's that's nice. That's nice. And we looked solid. So overall, the balance was there. It looked like we knew exactly what we were doing. Graham Potter had a complete hold on the team. And I'm very, very happy with the performance. Very happy. And I'm happy I can say that, finally. This was a big win. In terms of the Champions League table now, we are ahead of AC Milan. Salzburg did get a result. They are on five points. We are on four. AC Milan are behind us on four, but on goal difference, we are ahead of them. And Dynamo Zagreb bottom on three. Now, we've got to go to the San Zero. This is where we can possibly end up topping the group. This is where we get a hold of the group. If we get a result at the San Zero, but this is where we need to be, be careful. Why? Because it seems like they will have some players back for that game. So we have to be careful there. But playing like this, confidence, I feel like we'll be able to put on a good display. And I feel like we'll be able to now get somewhere. I feel like now this is what Potter needed. This is what the players needed. The confidence is possibly starting to build. The bond is starting to return. Let's move with it. Let's move with it. Wolves on the weekend. AC Milan next week. Let's do this. And let's make this a good October. Because we've got nine games this month. We've started off pretty well. Let's keep it up. That's it. So, as I said, fair play to the lads, fair play to Potter, fair play to the fans that went, let's keep this up. This is nice to see, to see Chelsea play like this. I'm happy. Let's just keep this, let's do this week in, week out, please. Please. <laughs> Anyway, there it is. Let me know what you think down below. I'd love to hear all of your opinions on this on tonight. Who do you thought did well? Who do you thought didn't? I don't think anyone didn't do well. That's basically my opinion on it. I thought, I'm happy today. Very, very happy with the performance. Let me know if you are too. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash like button if you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new one. Have a good one, people. Good night. See you tomorrow. And peace.